Hello, I'm Dr. Martinazzo and I'm one of the pain doctors at Cross House Hospital. I'm going to talk briefly about uh, persistent pain and medications. Um, medications are possibly the treatment a lot of people expect to be given when they are in pain. Uh, persistent pain can originate uh, through several different mechanisms and most medications only work for a few of these mechanisms. Uh, there are pains that do not appear to respond very, to respond very well to any pain-killing drug and often medication in isolation are very unlikely to be successful in the management of persistent pain. Medica a chat about medication will be an important part of the medical assessment at the pain management clinic and it will be very helpful you can, if you can bring along a list of all the medications you are currently taking, uh, mainly because painkillers can interact with quite a few of the medications that are not painkillers. Uh, the treatment uh, should always start uh, with a small dose of a weak medication that can then gradually be increased or changed to a stronger drug until you have the best possible pain relief. The, the correct dose of a painkiller is the lowest dose of any medication that produces the maximum benefit. It's rarely possible to relieve pain completely by using just painkillers. It's very helpful to discuss with your doctor what you do expect from the treatment. Uh, painkilling medications can be uh, standard painkillers like um, the very familiar paracetamol which is um, very safe uh, um, and in actual fact help many people. There are also um, standard painkillers like inflammatory, anti-inflammatory medications uh, uh, like aspirin, naproxen and ibuprofen and these um, work very well with joint and muscle pains. Then we have stronger painkillers and these are usually morphine related drugs uh, that are known as opioids. Uh, these opioids can be uh, weak opioids, uh, for example like codeine. Uh, codeine can be bought uh, over the counter at low doses uh, but stronger doses need to be prescribed by your doctor or, your, or the pain specialist. Uh, there are drugs called tramadol and tapentadol which are intermediate, intermediate opioids. Uh, stronger opioids like um, morphine and oxycodone are very effective in acute pain and pain at the end of life. Uh, however, there is little evidence of benefit in chronic pain um, treatment and they can also lead to a few side effects uh, if taken long term. If you decide to start these medications, these uh, should be trialed after a thorough discussion with your own GP or the pain specialist. Um, these medications can also be used in combination. For example, uh, you may be familiar with medications like cocodamol, codidromol or Tramacet. At the pain clinic, uh, we also use medications that are non-standards um, because there are some pains, uh, such as nerve damage pain, that are not helped by the normal painkillers. Uh, these medications tend to be either antidepressants or antiepileptics. Um, these medications were originally created to treat other conditions. Uh, for example, antidepressants are commonly used in neuropathic pain and the dose needed for um, pain relief is um, usually much lower than the dose needed to treat depression. Um, the other drugs um, that are anti-epileptic medications affect the nerve activity and they are helpful uh, when the nerves are oversensitive. Examples of antidepressant medications are um, amitriptyline, nortriptyline, imipramine, uh, whereas um, examples of anti-epileptic drugs are um, gabapentin, pregabalin, carbamazepine or sodium valproate. There are also um, topical medications and these are medications that can be used at, as creams, gel or patches. Uh, you may be familiar with medications like uh, Voltrol, for example, and anti-inflammatory. But there are also non-standard topical medications like um, lidocaine or um, chili pepper cream. 
when we talk about medications and persistent pain, it's very important to mention that medications can have side effects. Any medication can have side effects or interact with other medications you are taking. Uh, this will vary from one patient to the other. Some medications may make you feel nauseated, uh, dizzy or drowsy, and sometimes they can cause a rush. The, um, there are also some side effects that can be quite serious or life-threatening. These can be, for example, shortness of breath, palpitations or bleeding of the stomach. Now, uh, when you are concerned about the side effect of a medication, it's very important you contact your doctor or your pharmacist as soon as you can. Uh, thank you very much for watching.